Hi. Yes, hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for asking. And what about you? Yeah, I am fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I can see on your face as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Ashutosh. So before we move ahead, I just want to know a bit about yourself. So please, can you introduce briefly? Yes, of course. Thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity first. So I would love to tell about myself. My name is Ashutosh Devedi, connecting to you from Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh. When it comes to my education, I have done with my graduation, that is BCom Honours Accounting from BHU. And now I'm pursuing a master's, that is Master's of Arts in English Literature. And uh, I'm also running a YouTube channel that is Ashu Official 2021. And after that, when it comes to like training part, I have been training people for more than two years. Thank you. It's all about me. Okay. So you are uh, uh, working as a tutor as well. I mean, as a teacher. Yeah, you could say that a spoken English trainer by profession. Oh, that's nice. So today I'm going <laughs> to learn a lot of things from you, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right, Ashutos. So as you have mentioned that you are a trainer, so can you tell us, a, I mean, a bit, how uh, how could you become a trainer and uh, what is your journey and how did you get interest into it from where your journey? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course, as I told you that I was the student of commerce before and I wanted to see myself as a chartered accountant. But the, this journey has been started from the COVID-19. Actually, there were like I was the student of BHU. I was studying in the first semester. And then after when there was a second semester, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, I came back to my hometown and I had a laser time to just mm. work on something. I was not interested in online classes then after i thought of working on english communication skills so the first day of my journey was 29th of april 2020 so it has been two two and a half years i have been practicing on my english and after that i thought like if i have been working on communication why not give a try and just start helping others to just you know start helping them to speak better so if i will help them of course along with that i will improve myself because I would like to connect with this language. What is happening with the people in our country? Firstly, they are learning this language for the interviews for something. But after just clearing or just cracking that interview, they aren't going to connect with that language. So I had a same fear. That's why I thought of like, you know, training people and I started training people. So it's been really fantastic helping others and okay. myself with that. I must say that by doing this, I guess you have learned, you must have learned so many things. Uh, I mean, teaching itself is a learning process. This is my understanding. Yeah, of course. Right? Without, I mean, if you say that you are a teacher, so you are in the process where you are learning, right? Exactly. Right. Okay, so from where you uh, got this, you know, this pronunciation, this, you have beautiful <laughs> pronunciation skills, I can sense that. So, please tell oh, us. About thank you. About thank you so much. It. Yeah, thank you so much for the compliment. And if you are asking about the pronunciation, I do have, I do consider that is a general, but whenever I'm listening from people, they are saying that it is a bit different from another Indians. That the thing is that I have been practicing for two and a half years and I have done conversation with more than I think 10 to 15,000 people one on one. <laughs> oh my God. So, like, so the people, <laughs> yeah, huge number, people from all around the country, like our country, and people from all around the world as well. By talking to them, I just, you know, literally I got the like different like kind of pronunciation. And I would like to focus on pronunciation. Pronunciation is very important. I don't talk about the accent. Accent is a very last thing in English speaking. But when it comes to pronunciation, your pronunciation must be clear enough for understanding, you know. So, so that's why I'm able to speak like this right now. 
yeah because this is something with the weakest point for english learners because in india you know that we belong to different states and our mother tongue how dominates our mouth and tongue so we are not able to uh, have a right pronunciation when it comes to speak english but uh, you have mm -hmm that uh, uh, skill so yeah i'm surprised to hear you and even sometimes <laughs> i feel i'm talking to a native person like some american oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank yes. you so uh, i just want to know that are you uh, following uh, uk uh, pronunciation or us uh, are you thinking in this way are you following According to myself, I would like to see myself close to American accent, but I don't really consider that I'm just, you know, speaking U a U.S. accent only. That is the mixed accent what I got because I have been talking to the people from Australia, from U.K., from me, from like, you know, New Zealand, from uh, like U.S. as well. So I got a kind of mixed accent, but I, I would like to see myself uh, close to U.S. accent. So, but I think my focus is on pronunciation. That's very important thing. If I would love to talk to someone who is from Africa, who is from Asia, Europe, wherever they form, they can understand me. That is going to be more than enough. Yes, that's that's nice. But uh, many people have the, this confusion. What is the difference between accent and pronunciation? Sometimes people uh, may uh, mix it together and uh, they understand both things uh, as the same. But uh, what is your understanding mm -hmm. and how do you explain this theory? Yeah. Uh, as I told you in the beginning, that accent is very last thing. Accent is a kind of thing like when you started following all the things and cultures and slangs in very like, you know, if I'll talk about US, US accent means the specific things in the United States, okay? And the slang and the culture and of course the way they speak, of course a little bit pronunciation as well. So, but pronunciation is kind of, you know, neutral thing. If I will talk about one famous YouTuber like Alina Rice, the way she speak is a kind of neutral accent. She speaks very fantastic and it is understandable. So the people, they are calling it the neutral accent. And mm -hmm. when it comes to the people, if you will listen to the Lushi, like English with Lushi, she's from UK and she's having the UK specific British accent. And even though in British also, you can't like, you know, say that there are several ac accents, more than 40 accents are there in UK itself. So yes. it is very difficult to think like, you know, to go forward and learn all the things about the culture. If you will go deep down into the culture, you can be like, you know, specific of the UK or US. But mm -hmm. the pronunciation is the thing we can learn by listening to authentic speakers who are the like good communicators all around the world. I can give you some names. I have been following, like I started listening to, uh, when I started my journey, I started listening to Sadhguru, Jay Sethi, Ranveer Lahavadia, Prenka Chopra, and lots more personalities like that. By listening to that, I and of course, I, I just, you know, I'm going to tell you a name that is Palkish, Palki Sharma Upadhyay from the Vion, like Gravitas. So by listening to them, I got a lot more like in a different kind of pronunciation. I will give you an example. When I was not uh, learning this language, I used to say like, come for a table, okay? Four mm -hmm. syllables. But after that, I started saying comfortable, comfortable. So in three syllables. So that is the difference by listening. In the like beginning, I used to say, thank you. Thank you, like that. Oh but God. now I'm able to say, thank you, thank you. Like, so so I, now you will have to say. Mm -hmm. You have transformed yourself a lot, I guess. I mean, if you are saying in this way, I mean, you have worked a lot. Yes, uh, I must say that is only the practice. Uh, it has been two and a half years and I have been practicing consistently. And I was too crazy to work on this skill. I used to give five to six hours on daily basis for speaking only. Not for, I'm not adding the time of listening and watching. Mm -hmm. so, watching yes, yes. Because pronunciation yeah. is something I was lacking. Still, I'm lacking, but I have improved a lot. <laughs> I'm praising my, <laughs> to myself. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, uh, for me, it was like uh, Achilles heel. I mean, my weak weakness, weakness, sorry. So, but yeah, then I understood the importance of uh, pronunciation and not the accent. Many people are mm -hmm. fond of having UK accent or US accent and they are actually mm -hmm. trying to get that accent and they are uh, mm -hmm. putting efforts. 
uh, to not pronounce r <laughs> and and as an indian we are supposed to say r right we we can use mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. can say r easily so mm -hmm. sometimes i wonder that there is no need to there, there is no need to put such efforts but again it's individual's choice so we can't yeah, argue yeah, on that perfect. yes uh, yeah, I, I would love to give a point on that. I do appreciate those people as well because they are putting efforts to learn something. And there is a statement that fake it until you make it because this is a process. You are not going to wake up tomorrow and you are going to speak like a British person. You will have to practice and maybe then you will face the critics. People, they are going to just say that. Why are you trying to become an American? Why are you trying to become a British like that? Even though I am getting a lot more comments, the people, they are saying like, why are you faking it out? Like you are an Indian. I, yes. I say, of course, I am an Indian. I know very well. But of course, this is a language. And you, this is a kind of, you can decorate your language. If you're able to put efforts and speak like an American and British, of course, it's okay. No problem. What's the problem with it? It is all about your choice. If you are liking mango, of course, you can eat it. If you would like to eat orange, of course, I don't have any problem. So yes. that's what the thing is. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do agree with you. And uh, that the point that you have raised, uh, sometimes it, it, it feels like a robotic sometimes. But yes, as yeah, of course you have said, everybody starts from the scratch. So gradually mm -hmm. people learn. But uh, tell me truly what drives you to in order to have such accents? I mean, is it your interest or is it something else? Is, is it your choice? Uh, in... oh, that is your choice. But what drives mm -hmm. you, your interest or you have any project where you need to work or you want to go abroad, such things? I, I am just, <laughs> I just want to know. Yeah, when it, uh, like in case of me, I want to see myself as an international public speaker. I would love to see myself on the biggest stages. So if I will speak in a standard pronunciation or a standard way of like English speaking, people will be able to understand me from everywhere. Of course, they will be able to connect me. It is all about connecting. If I'll give you an example of Narin Modi, when he will go to Banaras, he will speak in like, he will go to like, he will speak in Bhojpuri a bit, okay? When he will go to like, you know, the West Bengal, he will speak in Bengal a bit. So the people, they are able to connect, of course. This is the kind of quality of a great public speaker. So I want to connect. Maybe if I will be able to speak in a way that is going to be fantastic and fantabulous and the right and clear pronunciation, people will be able to connect me from all around the world. That's what I want from myself. So you have a clear vision in your head. <laughs> I think yes, people will come do. to know after watching this that people have uh, such, uh, you know, um, uh, project or such interest. That's what they are doing. So please don't troll those people who are trying to have uh, accent, different accents. Okay, coming back mm -hmm. to the English language, um, like speaking, we are talking about speaking English. What do you think that uh, reading and listening, these two things, uh, I think they are more important if you want to become a good uh, speaker. So what do you think that is uh, listening or reading? Do If you if uh, I have to, to be honest, uh, if I will have to choose one, I'll go for listening. Listening is very important for speaking because I can give you an example of one boy like who is three or four years old in our society by listening to the parents, by listening to neighbors, by listening to friends. He's able to speak a native language, right? So the same with English language. If we are going to listen, write a stuff, we will be able to speak it. Because listening, I do connect with the speaking as well. But when it comes to the reading, reading is very helpful for the writing and reading is helpful for getting great thoughts and great sentence formation, a lot more things. But I will go with the listening first. I will give the preference to the listening. And after that, when I will be able to express myself well in English, then after I can go forward for the reading as well. Okay, so how many hours do you spend for listening? Well, listening, 
like nowadays it's a lot because i started training people so i'll have to listen them only okay i am asking questions to them and they they are just you know speaking and i'll have to listen them and i will have to correct them apart from this i do listen sometimes bhagavad gita i do listen some podcast and uh, a lot more videos on youtube i am more into english stuff whenever i'm just going to explore youtube i'm going to listen like you know i'm going to watch highlights of the cricket where they are having english commentary or the people who are giving their interviews like adam gilchrist getting like gary kaston a great players a lot of players so i'm more into the listening to the super successful people and by listening to them of course i'm getting a lot more things and motivation and english as well okay okay great